Hi, it's Megan. I'm here to share with you guys the cost of my 48 by 50 four stall center aisle horse barn. Um, I'm making this video because when I went to uh, do some research on uh, what it would cost um, and just sort of try to prepare financially for the impact of this barn. I had no idea what I was up against and I made this video because I want to share with people uh, the reality and so you guys can get prepared for it and you can plan effectively and get your financing sorted. Okay, so here's the picture of the barn. That costs $158,000 to get here. That's my dog, George. What's up, George? Here it is from the side. We did a 10 foot overhang on that side. And we did a garage door here so we could park the lawnmowers and tractors and do bulk deliveries there. So come with me. These doors I had done are really heavy duty. They are, there's no fear or danger of them flying off the hinges during a big storm. Uh, so here we are. There are the horses in there. Again, I did a um, concrete center aisle uh, because pavers, uh, while they're pretty, I don't like them because they're impossible to clean and I don't like that you can't like just sweep them away. Turn on the lights here. So I did lighting on the sides uh, because I didn't want, I have really tall horses. Uh, my youngest is over 18 hands and I didn't want them to hit their heads on any lighting as well as having lighting on the sides also helps the farrier uh, because it does not, it helps to cut down on um, shadows and casting shadows. So um, here's Trinity, she's uh, my mare. And I just wanna show you guys, you see how this is being, all of the doors are being held shut with ratchet straps and she actually has busted this. She's actually busted the whole door right off the hinges um, and right off the track because she has an itchy butt and that's what draft horses do. Um, all of the stalls, uh, do have this functionality so they you can put their heads out and I also had hay mangers installed so I can throw hay down from the loft so I don't have to carry the, the bales. Um, I made this barn really to make my life easy because I'm an army of one I don't have any help so um, yeah so anyway, here's the wash stall uh, it is hot and cold wash stall um, and this material on the sides is really nice. This is a like a fiberglass board and it brightens up the space. It's easy to power wash and it protects the wood from, uh, you know, rot. I did the tongue and groove ceiling. I also put this plug in right here and that's for an overhead uh, infrared heater for the winter because it gets brutally cold here. Uh, the lights in the wash stall are covered with um, protective plastic, so if you get water on them, they won't burn their whole place down. I also um, had doors put in the side, so in addition to the ends, I also had doors put in the side, so ultimate um, breeze ventilation um, and draft horses also don't turn around very well, so it's easier for me to walk them around the building than to try to turn them in the aisle way. So yeah, next I will show you, oh yeah, this is the timer for the heater in the ceiling. Uh, you can see it gets a lot of use, yeah. Um, but this is the timer, it's good so you don't have to ever worry about, oh God, did I leave the heater on, I burn the barn down because it's on this timer. This is a uh, part of the $12,000 electric price tag that came into it. So here is just this big storage area. I did not clean, so you guys are seeing real life. So lawnmowers, air compressors, this carriage thing from a million years ago that I used to drive Trinity with. Um, and then I had um, cabinets, 
above and below. And this is just like, like a Formica fake me out uh, countertop from Lowe's, which is great. And um, yeah, so this is like the feed room, storage room, sort of flex space in here. And behind there is the electric panel. And my dad just got a Tesla um, and there's actually a Tesla plug in there. Uh, fun fact. So in a hundred years, people are going to be like, oh my God, look at this primitive technology. But now it's like the most cutting edge thing. So, all right. So that's that room. Going now to, hello, Drogo. Hello, William. Those are my kids. Going now to the tack room. Uh, I have furniture in here because my house is too full of crap right now to put these in here. But here it is, uh, starting on the right hand side. This is the utility closet. So this is where behind here is where the hot water heater is and all the plumbing and whatnot. There's actually a light in here as well. So here it all is. We actually have a small uh, baseboard heater in here just to try to keep the pipes warm everything. Uh, this whole area is insulated, unlike the other parts of the barn. So um, yeah, everything just to try to keep it from pipes from freezing. Hold on, let me turn the light off. So we did, um, this door here is the door to the loft, and I'll show you guys that next. Uh, we did, I did uh, recess lighting in here, and I did do a little horsey chandelier in the center, just for that little bit extra, a uh, bit of fanciness that I just decided I needed in my life. And then each horse has its own tack locker and its own storage locker above it. So these are pretty basic, pretty simple. I don't actually use them much, but um, this is kind of what's inside of it. Really nice finishes in here. Um, because I just wanted to be that extra and I can't actually reach up here, but this is where I keep their, a lot of their winter stuff, winter blankets. That is a Halcyon Fujitsu uh, heater slash air conditioner slash um, dehumidifier to try and keep your tack from getting moldy. That was $4,500 installed. I did not pay for that. Uh, when I told my mom that I wanted the air conditioner in here, I meant a $300 window unit, but I came home to that. So if you guys are interested in having a climate controlled tack room, you too can have one of these bad boys for $4,500. So this little area here is pretty neat. It's covered with crap, but it is also a storage area and it, it opens up like that, or this actually will raise up. This this part will actually raise up as well. So, but anyway, yeah, here's the barn. Horses are like, where's my dinner? Okay, so up the loft stairs. I did four foot wide stairs. It really eats into your tack room area, but I saw a barn with two foot wide stairs and that was just a little too scary, a little too you know narrow for me. So I went with four feet. You gotta have the railing for safety because you're up here at 5 a.m. and you're half asleep. So it's probably good that you have the railing. Uh, so right now the loft is pretty empty, but I'm trying to use up last year's bit of hay. This loft, however, can hold approximately 800 bales of hay. So, and as you can see, it only goes two thirds of the way over because I like to be able to throw the hay over the edge here into their lofts, into their, um, excuse me, their little hay mangers. And uh, that's actually what they're waiting for right now. But you can see the construction of the loft. You can kind of see how it's all, Put together we do have electrical up here for whatever reason you know you always you, you put it in just in case you never know when you're gonna need it 
I also wanted to talk about, this is the fan that we ended up getting. Um, it's not a typical fan that you would see in a horse barn. Um, because I, did, I didn't want to do box fans because box fans are like the number one cause of barn fires in Maryland. So you have to get a fan that has like its um, all enclosed and is like meant for an agricultural industrial use and is meant to get wet, is meant to get dusty. And um, so that fan is kind of big, it's kind of bulky, and it's not typical of what you see in horse barns, but I did not want to take a chance. So we had that done. Each stall out the back has is a Dutch door that just remains open, so the horses can just kind of self-tend and go in and out as they want, when they want. Um, but yeah, so that's, yeah, you can kind of see how this one is at the end here. My horses do not like to be locked in, so I give them the options. So anyways, so that is the whole barn in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.